when you look at the Gunjan Chamber, really he became to be recognized as a significant Tibetan cultural figure is only in late 1970s and 1980s when the Tibetan refugees and the Tibetans in Tibet seem to rediscover him as a, a very important figure. What you have to understand is that the Tibetans today of my age, we are very concerned with the Tibet's uh, past and often look to the past to uh, analyze the sort of present uh, problems of Tibet. Why has Tibet lost its independence? Why has Tibet not changed? Why has Tibet was left behind? And um, so in doing that sense, you look in the history and you see figures like Thurjan Babu, Gunjan Chamber emerging. And they provide some sort of um, inspiration to, uh, to young Tibetans. In a sense, they represent to them uh, and their sort of thoughts and concern are very similar to the, uh, the present generation who sees that these people as uh, incredibly uh, unique figures who were ahead of their time, who if we had heed their advice uh, that we, we, Tibet could have been saved. In th this sense they become uh, sort of cultural and national heroes because all other heroes, uh, figures of that period seems to have failed Tibet, where so th their life seems to represent attempt to uh, uh, create a new Tibet. Did you do that? I think I'm doing a good deal. I'm not looking at this guy or Kungye guy or did you do that? I got that the huge euro chainers. Pansam jige euro. That the ne Europe jibo mare. I think that some do so kind of nyamshi jige euro. That ne. I think that the day tenga the manda. Carso, <laughs> Young